ഹൈ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് അഗെയിൻ വെൽക്കം ടു ഇൻക്രെഡിബിൾ ലേണിംഗ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ഞാൻ ആലോചന സോ ഇഫ് യു ആർ വാച്ചിങ് മൈ ലെക്ചർ ഫോർ ദ ഫേസ്റ്റ് ടൈം പ്ലീസ് സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് മൈ ചാനൽ ഞാൻ ആലോചന സോ യു വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ദ അപ്ഡേറ്റ്സ് ഓൺ മൈ ലെക്ചേഴ്സ് ഓൺ ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് ആൻഡ് കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ സബ്ജെക്ട്സ് സോ ടുഡേ ഐ എം കണ്ടിന്യൂയിങ് വിത്ത് ദ ലെക്ചർ ഓൺ ഡിജിറ്റൽ സിഗ്നൽ പ്രോസസ്സിംഗ് and today's topic is design of ir filter using bilinear transformation so in previous lectures we have discussed the design of ir filter using impulse invariance technique and all so this is the designing using the bilinear transformation so you may remember that the in the designing of ir filters first of all we designed an analog filter using the butterworth filter method or chebyshev filter then after that we go for the transformation from that analog filter to digital filter and for that we use impulse invariance technique or bilinear transformation technique or some other techniques so here i am explaining the various steps in the bilinear transformation so step number 1 find the pre-warping analog frequencies using formula omega is equal to 2 by t tan omega by 2 from the given specifications so you have to know what is pre-warping what is pre-warping that i will explain so the first step is to find out the pre-warping analog frequencies using that particular formula from the given specifications and second step is using the analog frequencies find h of s of the analog filter that is first of all we have to find out the transfer function of the analog filter if we are designing from the first stage onwards then the third step is select the sampling rate of digital filter that is t seconds per sample and the last step is substitute s is equal to 2 by t 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse into the transfer function found in step 2 to find the transfer function of digital filter so these are the four steps in bilinear transformation to make clear in case of bilinear transformation if in the design question if directly the transfer function of analog filter is given then you can simply substitute for s as 2 by t 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse you will obtain the transfer function for digital filter if in case the analog transfer function of analog filter is not given you have to do step number 1 step number 2 step number 3 and finally the step number 4 so if the transfer function of analog filter is already given as h of s is equal to something then what you have to do simply is simply substitute for s that is we are transforming from analog filter to digital filter so simply you can substitute s in as 2 by t 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse so that is the bilinear transformation now i will explain what is the term pre warping so before knowing pre warping first of all we have to know what is warping effect so for that consider omega represents that particular simple represents frequency variable in analog filter and the another omega that represents the frequency variable in derived digital filter clear then we have omega is equal to 2 by t tan omega by 2 so for small values of omega what happens is that that particular relation will be that we can change that particular relation as omega is equal to 2 by t omega by 2 then it will be omega by 2 which means that the omega which represents a frequency variable in derived digital filter will be equal to the frequency variable in analog filter into t clear then what happens is for low frequencies 
the relation between these two parameters will be linear and this a digital filter have the same amplitude response as that of the analog filter clear that is for low frequencies the relation between these two parameters are linear and the digital filter have same amplitude response as that of the analog filter and what happens in high frequencies that the the relation between these parameters would be non linear and the distortion is introduced in the frequency scale of digital filter to that of the analog filter and this particular effect is called as rewarp is known as warping effect so there will be some distortion in in the frequency scale of digital filter and that particular effect is the warping effect and to avoid this particular distortion we go for rewarping and here it is that is rewarping so the warping effect can be eliminated by rewarping the analog filter and this is done by finding rewarping analog frequencies using the formula that is for separately for pass band and stop band we find out that is omega p is equal to 2 by t then the particularly the analog and digital frequencies then omega p by 2 and for stop band also omega s is equal to 2 by t then omega s by 2 this is what we do as rewarping in order to eliminate the warping effect now we will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the bilinear transformation so the major advantages are it provides one to one mapping and stable continuous systems can be mapped into realizable stable digital systems and there is no aliasing or overlapping etc such effects uh, will be will not be there in bilinear transformation so they are the advantages and coming to disadvantages the mapping is highly non linear producing frequency compression at high frequencies that we already explained and the uh, impulse response and phase response of the analog filter are not preserved in digital filter obtained by this particular transformation that is a bilinear transformation so these are the advantages and disadvantages of bilinear transformation so thanks for watching the video keep watching videos and subscribe the channel nyana learning for more lectures on electronics and communication engineering thank you thank you so much